In this video, I'm showing you how to boost FPS in Minecraft. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. And then please go and leave a like as well, as it helps this video get to more people. So within this tutorial, I'm showing the full process of fully optimizing Minecraft to get the smoothest experience as possible. So without any further ado, let's go and get into this. I know my computer and let's go and continue with this tutorial. Now one of the main ways I use to go and optimize Minecraft is by using an optimization mod. Do not worry, this is allowed on many, many servers and you should be absolutely fine playing it. And what it does, it speeds up your Minecraft, but it also allows you to access way more settings, allowing you to optimize it and get the game a lot more faster and getting more FPS. So I'll be showing you exactly how to download that, how to install it, and then all the best settings. So the first you wanna do is come to your search browser and simply come to Google or another search engine and search for Optifine. Uh, I'll type that in now. Optifine, just like so. And you want to come to Optifine.net. And then here we are. Then you want to come to Downloads. And you want to go and download the version you like. So personally, I plan the latest version of Minecraft. So at the minute, that is 1.16.5. But if you want to go and use an older version, go and use that. But this tool will work for the latest version. So you can go and click download. If you click mirror, that basically skips the ads. If you click on the standard download, you have to watch five seconds of ads. So I recommend using this as supports the creators. So I'm gonna click on there and I'll just have to watch these ads. And then go and click skip in the top right. And it's gonna take you to the download page where I can go and click download. And it's gonna go and start the download. So as you can see, it's only a few megabytes. And you may get a warning because it's a jar file, but it's pretty safe, so click keep. And then we're going to go and run this. So what we're going to do is click on it. And you then want to go and choose where Minecraft is. So it's going to automatically find the launcher. So I'm going to go and click install. And now it's going to go and start installing. So I clicked install. It's going to take a minute or two. And uh, as you can see, Optifine is successfully installed. There we go. Do keep watching as I'm now showing you all the key settings you can use to go and optimize uh, your Minecraft. So let's click off here and open up Minecraft. So I'll click on the launcher and wait for it to load. Now a quick note, you then need to come change your installation. So as you can see, mine's currently selected 1.16.5, but yours may be on latest release. So if it is on latest release, click there and then go and select Optifine and then go and click play. Um, as you can see, uh, you're about to play a Minecraft driver edition installation, which has been modified. This is fine. Uh, Optifine is a, is a really good mod and uh, yeah. So go and click play and uh, then I'll be showing you these settings. So it may take a minute if you haven't run it before, as you can see it's just preparing. And uh, I'll catch up to you once we've loaded in. So I'm now in single player and I'm gonna go and jump into a creative game. So as you can see, it's now just launching it now. And uh, then I'll be showing you all the key settings once it loads. And also another cool feature of Optifine is when you press C on your keyboard, it zooms in. Anyways, let's go and press S, then come to options and let's go and optimize these settings. So you wanna come into video settings. And the first thing you want to do to go and speed up your Minecraft is I recommend turning the graphics just down to fast. Smooth lighting, I recommend just turning that off as well. For the smooth lighting level, you can also turn that off as well. For brightness, that doesn't matter at all. You can basically fully up to you. Dynamic lights being off is going to be faster. Um, so yeah, I recommend that if you're trying to get the fastest playing experience. Render distance, of course, it's going to be fastest on two chunks, but it can be annoying only seeing two chunks. So try and increase that a little bit, um, but just see how that runs on your computer. And the rest of these settings are pretty much up to you. Now let's go into quality. Now I recommend basically turning all of this off. Uh, however, when you click on some of these, it's gonna restart your game just like this. So don't worry, uh, you just need to click at the end and then it's gonna go and turn that off hopefully. And that should be off. Yeah, perfect. So then I'm gonna turn uh, a miss a massive textures off as well. And that's gonna restart the game. Um, and a few of the other settings will. So I'll turn custom fonts off as well. Connected textures, uh, I'll probably turn that off. And then I'm gonna go and turn custom sky off custom entity models off, and all of the others off as well. As you can see, I pretty much turned all of these settings off. However, you can test these to see which work best, because I know some people just do like to have certain things in Minecraft, um, but I'm just trying to get the first disc performance at the minute. So, so now let's get into performance. So a few of these you want to turn on. As you can see, it's actually faster with render regions on. Smart animation is going to be faster with it on as well. Smooth FPS is up to you. And for fast render, that's going to be faster it being on. Fast math doesn't matter and smooth world, um, this doesn't really matter as well. So we can go and click done now and then we can go and go into detail. So now let's go and edit the details section. So come into details. For clouds, they can be on fast or off uh, depending on what you like. And for trees, they'd be on fast as well. And then you can have on sky can be turned off. Sun and moon can be off. Fog can be fast or off. Then translucent blocks can be on fast. 
for dropped items that can be on fast as well um, and for Viginet that's up to you uh, but you could just try that on fast for cloud height that's currently off for me for rain and snow turn that on fast as well or off up to you and stars can be off and that's pretty much it guys uh, a lot of these are those will make a slight difference but honestly it's up to you and you can change the biome blend down as well so none of the biomes are blended together so then click done and then finally for animations you can come into here and simply click all off now i know some people like having a few of the effects on so for example water and fire is quite nice to have on so i'm gonna have those on um but uh, and otherwise you can just test what you like you know if you're just trying to get the fast experience and have them off but if you still want it to look cool then you can test what works best now guys this is one of the best ways to speed up minecraft a ton and if you don't like all of this you can actually go and reset it so it comes to options video settings and click other and then you can go and click reset video settings click reset and it's going to restart the game and then it's going to put everything back to the default settings which so you can see here is normal minecraft and that's literally it um, you can go and do that if you don't like any changes you made if you found this video useful please go with a like down below go and subscribe as well i'll catch you in the next one peace